everyone welcome back to my channel today we are building on my new island toucan but first of all can we just appreciate that beautiful rainbow in the background i feel like i never see a rainbow in this game so it's super super pretty and i love it but yes we are building today on toucan i'm just building kind of like a little shop area basically so just one big shop a surf shop in fact yes that's what we're doing now before we do get started on building i'd love it if you could like comment and subscribe come and join the jelly bean family now let's get building this is the area we're going to be working on today i'm going to be building a surf shop and now i've taken some inspiration from horrible gaming and how she builds her shops because i think they're just so amazing and so detailed and the codes that i'm using in today's video for the shop are actually made by a tropicitch on instagram i have listed them in the description below so check those out but yes we're going to be making a surf shop today and i'm super excited and this is quite near the front of my island because to the left is just resident services so yeah it's not too far at all and i thought it would look perfect you know nearer to the beach so slight complaint but can you see the terraforming coming through that display stand why 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 does it do that it doesn't do it in all the spaces on the terraforming just this area you know the area that i wanted to use <laughs> So I'm gonna have to change my build around unfortunately. But look, see I've pushed it along and it's fine. So I really don't understand. If anyone knows how to fix this, please let me know. <laughs> please. <laughs> I really want to know. Now, the wooden code that I'm using at the moment is actually made by Tropicitch. I do have another wooden code as well that I'm using where the slats go the opposite way. That's made by a completely different creator. So I thought I'd just let you know in case you're interested in this one or the other one. Now we're gonna make a start on building the upper part of our shop. I'm actually just placing this white code down just so it looks like the floor in case you can see it. So at least it looks, you know, <laughs> it looks like I'm actually decorating and not just left grass up there. Now, while I'm just away decorating, I'm gonna have a a rant about the wide display stands. I don't like the fact that you have to put something on that little square inside the glass. Oh, I wish there was an option to just remove it or have it the same colour as the background, you know, but oh well, I just put a cute little tropical pattern on the back, I guess. <laughs> now, you'll notice that I go up and down quite a lot on the ladder. It's just so I can see the perspective and see if it's, you know, coming out how I want it, basically. And by the way, I really wanted to stick those surfboards on the top of the roof, and that's why the building's like this kind of weird shape. But I kind of like it. It kind of works. I was just determined to have surfboards on the top, and I managed to do it, so I'm happy. For this shop I wanted to add a little bit of colour onto the top so I didn't want to just use the wide display units as the roof so I built a third level and I'm using the box corner sofa and the box sofa alternating in pink and yellow as you can see and I really like it and it looks really cool from down the bottom and you'll see in a minute I'll probably go down and check and see if I like it but yeah I think it came out really well it just adds you know that little bit of extra fun and colour there you go we got to have a look and Chadwick's walking around too bless him he's unfortunately not staying though <laughs> but yeah we're gonna carry on building to the side here and did you just see Audie walking past oh she's already checking out the shop <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna carry on terraforming along here. I actually wanna add some apartments to the side. I feel like it will just add more height and make this area look, you know, more busy, basically. I just really, really like how it looks. I've seen Horrible Gaming do it on her Instagram and on her channel. So I have to do it, I'm obsessed, I love it. Just doing some temporary back terraforming and that's just so I can get up onto the ledges that I want to get up on to place the items that I need to. It is super simple to make these apartment views. All you need to do is do a little bit of terraforming and then you just need simple panels, two, three, however big you want to make it. And then bookshelves, that's it. That's all you need and when you go down to the bottom and look up, the perspective is just amazing. Whoever came up with this idea, I think it might have been Tropicitch, but I'm not too sure sure but whoever come up with this idea is literally a genius it's perfect now i'm gonna just jig around with this bit here i wasn't happy with it looking so plain so i put two yellow simple panels behind and i just think it gets rid of that horrible edging on the bookcase i'm not actually building to the right side of this shop today i'm gonna save that for another video i've got a few ideas but obviously i need to finalize them in my head make sure that's what i want but we're actually gonna build behind the shop a little bit later on in the video so that should be good now here i'm just placing a palm tree because you'll see a little bit on in the video that from a certain angle it will just look like a really big palm tree and i think that's amazing like the perspective is just unreal i don't know how people go up with these ideas you guys are geniuses and i'm borrowing the idea 
there. Now, I thought it was a little bit bare just behind the tree, so I decided to add more of those apartments. And I'm really glad I did because it adds even more to the perspective shot and that makes me happy. So we're just going to be decorating the actual shop now, the down part of the shop. With the new 2.0 update, we got so many awesome items. We've got merchandise stand, this glass case stand. And the fact that we can put items in the wide display stands is just perfect. See, I can put hats in there. I got the folded shirt. A hula doll there just adds to the tropical vibes. Just everything is just so amazing. I'm obsessed with using all these new items. I feel like I haven't had the opportunity to use most of these items because after the 2.0 update my islands were a farm court island and then I did like a flower power town court island which was, had quite a lot of natural areas so it's really nice and feels like a breath of fresh air to just you know be able to use something different now I didn't like where I put this tree I felt like it was too crowded and closed in so that's why I've moved it me being indecisive like anyway going back to the using the new items I feel if you're struggling with what you're doing at the moment and you think oh I'm really getting bored of animal crossing Crossing. maybe just change up your theme use a bunch of different items that you've never really used before and come up with a new idea or theme and just build whatever you like I feel like that's the best thing to do at this point you know it can make this game feel fresh and new and every time I restart an island that's how I feel I feel like it's new and it's fresh and I try to choose themes that are completely different from each other as possible as I can and it's just working I'm still enjoying the game speaking of new items the inflatable bird ring needs some appreciation going for that item because I'm obsessed and it comes in so many different colors and I love it and I'm gonna use it everywhere <laughs> let's be honest now just at the back here we're doing a little bit of tidying so I'm basically getting rid of all the excess terraforming that I don't need and just going to tidy it up basically. My advice when doing these buildings is to try and block off as much of the back part of the building as you can because obviously that's the bit you don't really want to decorate because what's the point? No one hardly is going to see it. So you'll see what I'm going to do in a second but we're going to work on placing these wide display units here on the side just to fill out this area first so it looks a bit more neater and more building -y. I'm always going up with these words and just adding e on the end and they just work okay now I'm not going to place the wide displays all along the back like I said I'm going to be blocking most of that off I was going to decide to terraform there but then decided not to so we're actually going to build kind of like a little seating plaza area now for some reason whilst editing and you know cutting out bits that were just path laying and things like that i've managed to only end up with this bit of footage left so 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 sorry but i literally just put down some of this beautiful code that i use for my entrance which is made by potato mashed potato on instagram so check out their account but yeah i'm basically just putting fairy lights around everywhere flowers did some terraforming about the gazebo some festival balloon lamps and yeah it's come out really cute it's just a cute little seating area behind the shop which also blocks you from going behind the shop so when win in my eye but yeah we're just adding a few little finishing touches to around this area and i had to use this signal sign i think that's what it's called i never remember the item names please bear with me and obviously i used a car and a scooter because it's a road but yeah we finished the build today so let's have a little walk through of the area i'm super happy with how this area came out here this little seating area as you can see i haven't finished the terraforming that's something i'm going to do off camera because you really don't want to watch me fill in that whole area and here is the shop and i just love the perspective of the apartments in the background and that giant palm tree it looks so beautiful so colored i'm super super happy with it i can't wait to actually start building on the boardwalk in front as well i feel like it make it feel even more resorty and fun i don't know i'm really happy so far with this island but yes that is it that's the end of our walkthrough of the area Area we built today. I'm really happy with how the surf shop came out and I'm really excited to do some more shops on this island somewhere and like do the boardwalk and things like I've already said I'm just super excited to do more builds. Now as always if you enjoyed this video as well please be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me it really does help me out. Also comment down below anything you like even if it's just hello. Most importantly don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already come and join the Jelly Bean family. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. Remember to take care of yourself and I'll see you in my next video everyone. Bye!